They were wrong about Never death close. totals, fatality rates. They were wrong about masks. They were wrong about wrong. ventilators. They were wrong about the curve. They were wrong about social dis uh, about social distancing changing the curve, whereas the, the actual change occurred before social distancing. They were wrong yeah. about economic impact. They have been wrong about everything. <laughs> What does it mean, trust experts, and how do you pick which experts? Has this yeah. pandemic changed your faith in some institutions? Now, that institution could be the WHO, though we would not advise that. You should trust everything the WHO says, including right. that mm. the coronavirus cannot be transmitted from human to human contact, and it was created by the Marines and Avatar. <laughs> so uh, nothing we would say would go against the WHO, but I, I, let, me, let me just be really clear about this. This right now, in the face of overwhelming data, is one of the greatest hoodwinks ever yes. in the American public. As what? far as a power grab, as far as the transition from laws or uh, protocols that would be appropriate initially without right. data, which we all understood, we all got on board with, the American society's good nature has been preyed upon yeah. now. And it is at a point, I think most Americans are fed up. We see this in yeah. polls and it's tough how, depending on how you read which polls, depending which question they ask, like, do you want to go back to work? Are you concerned about COVID? It's like 70% say they want to go back to work, but then a certain percent say they're still concerned about COVID. Yeah, hey, count me among them. Yeah, exactly. You um, can manipulate the data all you want. But let me just, let, let's just, I want to know. Where do you guys line up? You can chat with us, too, uh, with the experts and comment below. Let me be really clear when I say that the experts were wrong. Um, the experts were wrong on death, total deaths, death rates, infection rates, masks, ventilators, testing, economic impact, what else? Uh, Non-locked out states reopening and oh, how wow, they would have yeah. a total surge. They have been wrong about absolutely <laughs> everything yeah. that would be of consequence. And let's be really clear here, yeah. too, by their own argument, right? They said, hey, listen, uh, two million dead in the United States, which we now know is a flawed model, right? We talked yeah, about Neil yeah. Ferguson, Horribly. who violated his own lockdown yeah, rules. No. Mr. Ferguson, you're violating your own law. Um, <laughs> name that movie line. He violated the own lockdown orders. Two million dead is what they said. Two million dead unless you get to work, Mr. President. And President Trump took, took them at face value. He said, yeah. okay, all right, two billion dead. It's time to get to work. We're at less than 5% of that. Wow. wow. That's insane. We're at less Never, than 5% of that. How is that not a resounding success, an overwhelming victory, unless you experts were in fact wrong? You have mm. to pick one or the other. Was it going to be two million deaths and it was reduced by 95%? Yeah. Or... Were you wrong in your predictions? It has, you can't be right the whole way, just like President yeah. Trump can't be right the whole way. And yeah, I also exactly. understand when people say Donald Trump's side. Well, what, si what side is he really on? He was the guy who went out and advised lockdowns. He was the guy who went out and advised masks. He was the one who supported yep. states. He was the one who got ventilators. Yep. He was the one who enlisted the private industry, right? And then he said, okay, now it's time to get back to work. You can't say that he's consistently been on one side here. Yeah. He was on the side of all Americans, which is, let's stop, let's pause until right. we know more. We know more, and unfortunately for the experts, we know that you've been verifiably wrong. Now, it's okay to be wrong. It is okay to be wrong. I think if nothing else, this kinds of sh it kind of shows us there's no se there, there is no such thing as settled science by the very nature of what science mm. is, right. especially yeah, yes. when you're talking about science in a pandemic with a virus that mutates and we don't even have a cure, treatment that's approved, or a vaccine yet. There can be no settled science. And I'll get to some specifics, but I think it's important to understand the difference here between science, the scientific method, the scientific process, and scientism. What do I mean by that? Yeah. This idea that if you simply apply the scientific method, you will fix all of society's problems. Listen, experts should be pooled into an advisory role and board of a group of different experts. And by the way, mm -hmm. also include non-experts. Also include everyday Americans who will be impacted by this. Not Greta. By these rules. No, not, not the Greta. Yeah, Greta typically someone who has paid taxes and hasn't professed <laughs> to be autistic. <laughs> How are we not applying the scientific method to calling bullshit on China. Yeah. Like, hold on, well, hold on a second. What we know about the virus, especially if we don't jump on it quickly, and we know how it spreads in urban areas or areas with, with yeah. elderly populations, you don't see the same patterns that you see everywhere else in China. What do I mean by that? Some of the observable patterns, things that are irrefutable. Now, I don't mean settled science as far as a cure, but settled right. as far as we know that this threatens the lives of the elderly and the sick far more significantly. Mm -hmm. We know that far it spreads in urban more. areas, obviously. 
The only place where we don't see this consistency of data is China, where they admitted, by the way, to destroying samples in the yeah. lab. Remember, the death <laughs> predictions were 2.2 million. Of course, we're yeah. not even close to that. Yeah. Uh, the CDC said don't wear masks. Then, of course, they reversed that. We <sighs> said early on that a mask was good, especially if you had the sniffles. Uh, testings, they said that we're the ter- we were terrible at testings. We're number one in the world at testings. By the way, I love it when they say we have more yeah. cases and more deaths than anywhere else in the world. But, w- but the test, we don't have more testing per capita. Use the same measurement. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Ass- Uh, They also said that lockdowns as long as a full year for a vaccine that we would be able to ride this out. Most Americans now are saying that they're not able to ride it out. And of course, that resulted in over 36 million jobs and uh, unemployment as high as 40 percent in some states or as they know it in Detroit Tuesday. So (laughs) trillions of dollars in stimulus money. I just want to be clear that all of these things, they were incorrect. They were incorrect. Now, at what point do you cease being an expert if you stake your claim and it is false? Not oh, maybe it could have gone either way. I mean, if these people were in charge of the Vegas betting odds, we'd clean up. Of course, hospitals. The hospitals were never overrun. Oh, Now, here's the thing. You could say that's because of the isolation. Sure, and that comes with other ramifications that we'll talk about in a second. But um, they're less than normal. They're empty. They've had to furlough and lay off Tons so many employees. I also do wonder because I, I have I have a lot of relatives and friends who work in the healthcare industry. And half of them, at first, were saying this is a terrible disaster we need to f- and now half of them are saying we want to go back to work but there's still yeah, half of them where they say no you just don't understand how bad it is and i've asked them i've said well, hold on a second it's not true you're not working and they go yeah i said have you seen any cases well, no we well we had two in our hospital i said really <laughs> yeah, what, right. what happened well really it wasn't it was they just they were fine we just had to keep they them on watch it, yeah. and that was it and i yeah. go how do you still buy into this i go well, we know because we trust the cdc i go well, hold on a second what have you observed because every single and this is anecdotal in the sense that these are relatives and friends but the overwhelming data shows us that hospitals were not overrun so again they were wrong about Never death close. totals fatality rates they were wrong about masks they were wrong about wrong. ventilators they were wrong about the curve they were wrong about social dis- uh, about social distancing changing the curve whereas if the, the actual change occurred before social distancing they were wrong yeah. about economic impact they have been wrong about everything there is some data now to suggest that lockdowns actually spread it more because in new york yeah. it was over 80 percent of people who mm. caught it caught it at home the remain of course then you also add in nursing homes in the mix and the remainder was public transit because of the subways right and then all others and we yeah. do see more people makes it worse i don't it think it can make how it worse how because lockdown make it worse here's how it can make it worse because a lot of people what they're finding out may have it in their home and most homes what's oh. the average uh, number of people but they're household? going to home even if there isn't a lockdown Right? Yeah, but they're but they're staying in their it's house. They're not the getting AC. out in the fresh open air. They're uh, not getting out. Yeah, in the so they're well, staying right. and basically incubating. Yeah. And then a lot of them are afraid to go into the hospital for other conditions. So mm. they're saying now that the the, the the there's a rise in comorbidities yeah. of people who are staying home, where COVID might have been sort of inconsequential, but they go and get something else fixed. So like uh, the mold example, right? Like people are like, well, they wouldn't normally spend as much time in their home, and the homes no, naturally have an amount of mold. And yeah. When you live in New York, and yeah. a lot of those places are not kept up in the way they should. So if you're spending a lot more. Time at home, you're getting a lot well, more and mold, it depresses, right? your, lungs. It depresses yeah. your immune well, system. Too, sure, that, right? that makes sense. Yeah. Yeah. And, and, yeah, and UNICEF has actually estimated that the lockdowns will kill more children than, yeah, the, of than course. the virus will because right. in most countries they're not leaving to go they can't leave without documentation wow. they can't right. leave their houses without wow. documentation yeah. Yeah. they can't get treated for pneumonia they can't right. get, they can't go give wow. childbirth elsewhere they have to stay in their homes and, and it's pretty tough to explain to those entitled fascists in mozambique about <laughs> supply side economics <laughs> right. instead they just die thanks yeah. leftists hey if you enjoyed this video subscribe or hit the notification bell because that uh, that lets your mobile device do people still say sell I don't think they sell, but no one says LTE. We used to say cellular, but we don't say LTE. But then, what was it? There was there was roaming. Do we still have roaming? I think we still have roaming. If you're watching this on mobile, um, I've wasted a ton of your, and you're likely driving. You're probably dead. You're probably just looking back now, and the road is just there are some lights and sirens going off. Maybe there's like a pair of slacks in your the grill of your car next to the Rudolph nose that you put in for some holiday festivity, only now it's covered in someone else's blood. Uh, so hit the notification bell. Join Mug Club at lighterwithcrowder.com slash Mug Club because that's how we support this. We don't uh, actually make any money off of YouTube, and we do a full daily, like 80% more content. And you know what? I hope that your blood type is O negative. <laughs>